Hi and welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday the 23rd of December 2020. Just to let you know this will be the last Market Alert uh, this side of Christmas. I'll have a look on Monday, see what the markets are doing and I will just uh, record if there's something worth recording and then of course we're back to normal a week on Monday and we're heading to 2021 when things should get uh, quite exciting to say the least. But yesterday we had a short squeeze that sparked a small cap surge but uh, the big banks dragged down uh, the Dow. As it says here, our darkest days in the battle against COVID are ahead of us. That's what I'm saying about 2021 is probably going to made, uh, make uh, 2020 look like it was a warm-up act with uh, what's coming. So um, you can see here they were panicked by small cap stocks with both hands and feet yesterday just to uh, try and get some sort of yield over the next year. So let's have a look, see what uh, happened yesterday and the DAX in the futures market uh, sailed up over 100 points straight off and then when the market opened uh, we just had this one red bar here with the market closing off the lows with very high volume and then we were back above the 20 bar moving average the 5 bar already above the 20 so it was a case of uh, just buying and uh, seeing the market uh, move to the upside so I'm just going to fast forward through this uh, we did have a uh, potential sell signal there that uh, failed. We're above the close and it was a case of having to look, see if the market had any strength to get up to the uh, the BRN there. So I'm just going to fast forward through. The market was trading sideways, uh, which you can see there. I'm just looking at all the time frames there, the one minute chart. And then I marked up uh, the upside uh, targets as the market was moving to the upside in the daily chart just to see if we get some sort of uh, resistance at the 50 bar moving average as prices recovered quite well uh, during the overnight and there you can see prices just hitting the 50 percent target as we hit uh, the brn there and then prices uh, just traded sideways and you see the range became really tiny uh, and at this point, I'd already got become bored because we were only just trading in a 10 point range. Never mind uh, anything else. I was just uh, losing the will to live. It became so quiet, which is unusual. I mean, you can see it's getting quieter here. Uh, we're now two or three points and uh, decided to say, well, forget it. There's nothing uh, happening. And I'm amazed, actually. Normally we get that uh, on the... 23rd not the 22nd so I was surprised to see that uh, happen so quickly I had other things to do so I decided to leave uh, the desk and then when I came back there was a sell signal I thought well I'll, I'll give it a go let's see what happens but uh, as soon as it uh, went short you can see them buying back here uh, compared to the previous bar the range is narrow in uh, this selling bar the volume is greater so we know there's some buying pressure and that's exactly what they did they just sat with it sideways and uh, when we got back down to the entry it was a case of take the trade off the table because it was just too quiet and again um, we had a potential buy signal but I wasn't at the desk as, uh, as you can see there I just had the markup still there and already uh, left and then prices just traded sideways following that potential buy signal until we got through to the 10 a.m. Uh, cut-off period and then in the afternoon the market uh, sold off we could see some uh, buying coming in there I just did the again in the two minute chart you can see the support coming in but well, price is failing to hold above the five bar moving average there although this price action here is consistent with a market bottom you've got this big bar and prices uh, move back to the upside we've seen this before many times uh, and want to keep an eye on there where the range is far greater than it has been for the previous bars and then coming off the lows as well with very high volume. So prices uh, retest the close and once they close above the 20 bar moving average which is where we see this here we then get uh, prices uh, moving to the upside and again notice that we've got very high volume in this bar and this one and then we get that reversal on uh, even more volume to get through the 20 bar moving average. And this then drove the markets to the upside. There was a quick shake out back to the downside uh, here, straight to back through the 200 MA, the five bar, the 20 and straight down to the close, followed by 
a stop at the BRN. And again, notice how high this volume is compared to the previous selling bar. It's far greater and the market's managed to turn around there as well. So we had a potential sell signal. This wasn't going to be filled because of what we were already seeing. And uh, then prices uh, trading sideways. And then eventually they break to the upside and continue to the upside as well. So it's only a 50 point move, only a 50 point move, I say. I mean, I would have been great uh, to have actually been on that. But once he started trading sideways again, I thought uh, we were going to have a quiet afternoon. But obviously uh, the market uh, was brought back on the back of the Dow moving up at this point before the Dow came under pressure from the uh, banking stocks. So yeah, we had a bit of a recovery there uh, in the afternoon. But let's have a look at the overnight, see what's uh, going on. So in the daily charts, uh, we're back above the 20 bar moving average. And I'm just going to draw in the fibs from the top to the bottom there, just to see if the market moves higher today, uh, if it'll get through the 50 and the 62% uh, retracement there. So I'll just save that. So I've got that uh, for reference. And then let's have a look at the overnight uh, prices moving lower, uh, but then coming back to the BRN and the 200 MA and currently uh, trading above uh, both of these. So the moment the market is bullish and uh, the daily chart is also indicating this as well. You need to take out yesterday's high, uh, which will be very important if I just grab this and then do this. And you'll see the high is tucked up here. So that's going to be a key area for the market to move up to. Uh, given that yesterday was quiet, we might actually have some really good moves this morning. Um, very strange yesterday, I have to say. I think the market was just relieved that Mnuchin had come and saved the Dow the day before. And uh, speaking of which, let's just have a quick look again. You can see that the Dow is stuck in this sideways range. And the market also looking slightly weaker than the DAX there at the moment, but it could still go on to make new all time highs. But the DAX hasn't made it back to its all time high yet. So there's still a chance during the festive season for it to do this. In the implied volatility, this uh, dropping a bit yesterday, uh, so you can see there 2071 down to 2047, but still above the 200 bar. Oh, sorry, the 20 bar moving average, which is why it's still showing amber alert there for uh, the uh, Dow implied. There is no news today. And then, of course, tomorrow is half day session, then closed on Friday and then uh, Monday. So I'll have a look on Monday, see what the market's doing. But don't forget, the UK tends to shut uh, for a couple of weeks. The US go back to work on Monday. So I will certainly have a look. And if there is something to report I will uh, certainly uh, record and uh, notify you via email. So I won't be uh, just uh, leaving the desk, as it were, for the festivities. It's very difficult to do after uh, 30 years of looking at the markets. But uh, usually the, the picture is it'll be quiet today, half day tomorrow. And then uh, that's it. We'll sort of pick up a bit uh, from Monday. So with that, I will conclude and uh, wish you all the, the very best for the Christmas break. And uh, hopefully I will see you in between. And also thank you for your support and taking the time to listen. Really do appreciate it during the last year. So thanks uh, very much. Enjoy the festivities as much as you can. It's going to be a bit uh, different this year, of course. But uh, we'll just make the most of uh, what uh, cards have been dealt. Simple as that. So as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.